Howdy folks and welcome back to Old Car Auto Guy. Today is Monday. It's the day after I shot the video of blowing up Project Bubbles and I still have a smile on my face. It's been a busy weekend. Let's catch you up to date. So last thing on Friday afternoon, we were trying to put a deal together on one of the oldest vehicles that we have on our lot. And as you can tell by the sold sign in the window, the 2013 Hyundai Elantra Coupe is sold. So that will be going out here in just about an hour or so. They're coming in to sign up all the final paperwork that's involved in getting this in to this young fellow's hands. Also, there was a big auction, a government auction, in Fredericton this weekend, and Dad made it up there, and, well, he bought six vehicles. Six. So that should fill the lot up pretty good. We've got them out here right now. Let's take a look and see what we have on the lot. So here we have almost a matching pair of 2012 Ford Fusions. They've got roughly the same amount of kilometers on them, right around 135-ish, I believe. And uh, so these were both municipal vehicles. As we come over here to this one, we've got a 2014 Kia Rio. Again, the mileage on this one, I'm not sure because I haven't looked at all the paperwork, but it does have aftermarket hubcaps and we will see if we can find something for that. And right beside the Kia Rio, we have a 2013 Dodge Avenger. Now, like I said before, all four of these vehicles are municipal vehicles that belonged to a city and uh, they've been well maintained it's all well documented some of them have a few scratches or dents here and there but we bought them right and we'll be able to sell them right so another vehicle that we picked up is a couple actually the two vehicles that we picked up are a couple of pickup trucks now this is a 2009 chevy silverado i'm not sure if you can see on the side of it uh, but it does say nb power so this is a power commission vehicle and uh, again they're well maintained but they keep them for 10 years and they sell them off this is the 2013 f-150 it's an xlt now i don't see any reflector reflectors on this one that indicate it was an mb power truck i just assumed that it was because it's white but it is a fleet vehicle it's got the aluminum wheels i assume that it has power windows locks cruise and tilt yes it does and this one's a high miler. It's in really good shape with the exception of a few spots where the paint's peeling, which is common on these Ford F-150s. This one has 305,000 kilometers on it. That's about uh, 200,000 miles. It's a V6, it's four wheel drive, it's the extended cab, and overall in pretty good condition. Again, we bought it right, we'll be able to sell it right. With this kind of mileage on it, it will be a cheap truck, but People are looking for cheap trucks. They don't care the mileage sometimes. It's a 13. If this had the right mileage, say around 100,000 kilometers, it'd be a $25,000 truck. So put that in just perspective that I should be able to sell this for under 10 grand, maybe less. But as we take a quick walk around it, we do notice that there's a little bit of a dent here in the front bumper. No big deal, that'll buff. And we come back around the side here and down in one of the corners, Looks like they must have backed into something at some point and the paint's peeling off there again. That'll buff. And the sad remains of what's left of Project Bubbles. But that video is to come, guys. You've got to get me to 2,000 subscribers before I will update, or sorry, before I will upload that video. It's all edited. It's ready to roll. Just got to hit two grand. Help me get there. Share with your friends. And one more spot back here on this truck uh, around the bottom of the tail light. Overall in really good shape, uh, a few minor dents and scrapes. We'll get her shined up pretty and looking like new one more time. So there is a little bit of a lot update. We will keep you posted on those six vehicles that we bought. And now we're going to go in and check on Junior's car because it's starting to go back together. So here we have Junior's car up in the air. Looks like everything's back together. We seem to be missing an axle on this side, maybe. Same on the other side. But the uh, everything's back up in there, I'd say. Here's the old motor, or the new 
old motor, the old new motor, that uh, ended up being a little bit noisy when we put this replacement after he blew up the original. So the company was quite good enough to give us another motor at no charge as long as we send this one back. But still, it's a big job. We are two days into this with one guy or one whole day with two guys trying to get this thing swapped out the first time and you know it's just tied the bay up we're not making any money because a it's junior but b even if it was a customer vehicle we would be losing money simply because even though the motor itself would was warranted and they were going to look after that it's still costing us time as labor that we can't be billing out on something else because i've got tim tied up doing this but hopefully in no time we get those axles in and get this thing started back up we shouldn't have any problem getting this thing out of here by lunchtime tomorrow at least that's the goal and while i was out here earlier doing a little bit of a lot update i failed to mention the 2010 dodge journey we took on trade for that chrysler 200 that i bought at the auction just a, about a month or so ago uh, he came in had an oil change was getting prepared to pay his bill and uh, seemed quite interested in the 2013 Chrysler 200 we had sitting out front. Same color, maybe that's what it was. Anyways, he's into that now, he's, drive, he's driven away in it and he seems to be quite happy. And this little jewel only has 137,000 kilometers. That's like 80,000 miles. Pretty good for a 2010. Shouldn't take much to get that one sold. So to conclude this video, it is election day in Canada. So today we get to go and vote for a new leader of our country. Although in Canada, we do it a little bit differently. We don't vote for an actual prime minister. We vote for a local candidate, which represents that party. And that party that gets to the finish line first wins the election. So I've got to go do my civic duty. We're going to close this video out by saying to you guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Don't forget, Car Guy and Six Fan Show this Thursday on my channel. Very special guest. You're not going to want to miss it.